Hey guys, new video here. My league starter. I'm gonna start as Bane Aki. Okay, Bane Occultist. And uh, I know, I know, I've week started this before in like 3.6. So it's been a long time since I played it. I'm gonna have the path of building below, so you can take a look at the skill tree. Okay, very, uh, very basic skill tree for uh, the Bane Aki. And let's just talk about it real quick. So the reason I'm going to go is because it looks cool. The video I have playing right now, right now is just a looped uh, Stygian Bane MTX video of what the, the new MTX looks like. And so it's a, it's an AoE. It's a dot. It can run all the map mods. It's pretty, it's pretty speedy um, at the beginning. And uh, some things that might be uh, worth considering. So the pros of it, running any map mod, easy to start up with no gear, looks good, good clear speed. Um, and also it'll probably be cheap, uh, the gear for it will probably be cheap because like, you know, wand league and like some bow improvements and all the other stuff are, just, it's really favoring a hit based, attack based, uh, crit based league, right? So I think that the Bane is a good start for me. Um, I, what I did as a test is, um, on stream once I did like level 14 gems with uh, an essence strain. And then off stream, I did a little bit more with like a, a level 20 Bane with level 14 support gems and like the most garbage gear you could imagine, like actually under 20C gear. And it could actually clear the T16 maps. You know, you might need a Wither Totem for the bosses and stuff like that. Uh, but it was actually fine on garbage gear. And this is uh, with the 3.9 updates to boss HP, you know, rare monster, magic monster HP, overall awakening bonus level 8 uh, on the maps that I tried. And what I realized is that with garbage gear, I can probably clear everything. Delirium might be a little bit questionable because we don't know how the monster scaling uh, works, right? We have words from the developers, uh, but, you know, from past experience, if you've played the game for a long time, you gotta take those with a little, little grain of salt, right? So if Delirium turns out to be really, really crazy monster scaling, then we'll need to work in other things to up our single target. You know, maybe focusing on another six link with a Blight or an Essence Strain setup. But those things are way later on that we don't really know enough about yet, right? The cons of the build are it's not crit base, it's not hit based, okay? So hit base, crit base is usually gonna apply two things that are very safe. That is a usually a stun. When you hit a monster really hard, they're gonna get stunned. And another thing is an ailment of your choice. So if you freeze them, obviously they can't move, shatters porkies, all that good stuff. Um, so you might miss these things. And the dam damage scaling, when you compare it to the big boys, like Impale Anything, uh, and some of these like cast on crit builds, and things that are later on that are gonna be very, very strong, like undeniably, uh, stronger like you know 50 75 100 times more dps than you can get with um the bane setup at any range of budgets that might be a concern uh to you guys but for a leak sir i think bane is very safe it gets my vote of confidence you can easily switch into a essence drain contagion setup if you want a little bit more dps off the start um that's totally fine but uh, this is what i'm gonna go and other things about the Bane setup, like I don't want to go over, I don't want to spend too long on this video and go over all the little bits of the POB because this this skill has so many different YouTube videos already out there on, um, I would make sure to watch 3.9 and, and 4 videos, okay? Uh, all I'm going to say is that it's going to get you through all the early game, it's going to be able to do all the bosses, it's going to be able to do all the, um, all the content, right? The, well... Once again, Delirium, we're gonna hold off on that because we just do, we do not know the monster scaling and what maps favor it and stuff like that, okay? Um, but I just like the Aki because you get free Hexproof, so you don't, you literally don't care about any map mods. Uh, you can curse through Hexproof, you get with Vixens and Wind Shrieks and stuff like that. You can get up to like five curses if you want. The AoE is massive, okay? You're looking at like a 50 radius uh, skill, about 50 radius skill if you get the AoE nodes and stuff like that and it is a one click so essence strain is a two click skill contagion into the essence strain the bane is one click it casts you can probably cast three banes per second so pretty good you don't have to worry about missing your essence strain that happens sometimes um so a little bit less dangerous on the casting uh the clear is going to be fine the, the profane bloom pops if you want to use obliteration wands or not uh it's gonna be really nice it transitions into low life build very very nicely for more auras and so yeah, I'm excited to play this, um, and if you guys like have no idea if you played Bane before, especially in 3.9, there's really nothing to worry about, and, um, and I'm going to have a lot of fun in 
uh, this upcoming week. Okay, if you guys have any questions, I, I stream on Twitch. You guys can ask me there. But uh, yeah, hope you guys have fun and, and hope you guys get really a, a lot of good drops. Okay, goodbye, guys. Thanks for watching my video. Bye.